People often ask, what is the benefit of spending all this money on NASA and space exploration when that money could be spent better here on Earth? Well, by giving those scientists the time to do their research and solve the various problems to do with getting people into outer space, multiple new technologies are discovered. These new technologies then trickle down into society and some we use every day. Here are five NASA technologies you might use every day. Number one, memory foam. Memory foam, also known as temper foam, was developed under a NASA contract in the 1970s that set out to relieve the stress caused by the high G-forces astronauts were subjected to. This product was originally found to not be durable enough in its current form and was never used for its intended purpose. NASA decided to release the formula to medical companies who attempted to commercialize it. These companies also struggled with the durability as it was too brittle to be used long term. It was only when a Swedish company was able to change the formula slightly to provide more durability and keep the desired characteristics that memory foam hit the markets. Now you will find memory foam in most new mattresses, pillows, and public transport. Other uses include American football helmets for bedbound patients, and some shoes even have memory foam soles. I'm your host, Alan, and you're watching Elder Fox. Number 2. Smartphone Cameras in the 1990s, a Jet Propulsion Laboratory team was looking for ways to shrink cameras down for interplanetary travel. They came up with the camera on a chip, also known as the CMOS sensor. Today, CMOS sensors are found in most of the world's camera phones. The wide introduction of smartphone cameras wouldn't have been possible without this NASA invention. Not just are the chips smaller than traditional cameras, but they are much cheaper to manufacture. The quality has improved now to almost match the more expensive traditional chips. Number 3. Highway Safety Safety grooving, the cutting of grooves in concrete to increase traction and prevent injury, was first developed to reduce aircraft accidents on wet runways. Represented by the International Grooving and Grinding Association, the industry expanded into highway and pedestrian applications. Safety grooving originated at Langley Research Center, which assisted in testing the grooving at airports and on highways. Skidding was reduced, stopping distance decreased, and a vehicle's cornering ability on curves was increased. The process has been extended to animal holding pins, parking lots, and other potentially slippery surfaces. Number 4. Emergency Call Locations In the early 2000s, the Federal Communications Commission required that all cell phone service providers include the ability to immediately locate 911 callers. Comtech Telecommunications Corporation turned to NASA. On an emergency call, an initial rough location can be gathered from cell towers and satellites, but then that data is combined with JPL's positioning data to provide a more accurate position and periodic updates if the caller moves anywhere. Today, this technology is how smartphones can be so accurate with location data, while sat-navs can sometimes struggle. Number 5. Laser Eye Surgery Laser eye surgery uses a technology called LASIK. LASIK technology comes from the 1980s efforts for autonomous docking of space vehicles to service satellites. Eventually, a range and velocity imaging LADAR was demonstrated that could be used for docking spacecraft. LADAR was also used in military and NASA-sponsored research for applications in strategic target tracking and weapons firing control. LASIK technology is used today by opticians to track eye movements at a rate of 4,000 times per second while reshaping the cornea, the clear front surface of the eye, using a laser. Now, you might be wondering why Velcro is not on this list. This is actually a common misconception. Velcro is a Swiss invention from the 1940s. Due to the convenience of using Velcro in zero gravity, it was heavily used during the Apollo missions for anchoring equipment down for the astronauts. Because NASA used so much Velcro, people often believed they invented it. 
Even without inventing Velcro, I think NASA technologies on the whole have vastly benefited mankind. There are many more technologies we could include, so look out for part two. Thanks for watching Elder Fox. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe for more.